What's up, Internet? Perhaps the most underrated part of a computer build is the CPU cooler. Malaki yung gastos mo for that really expensive, really fast CPU, but that fast CPU can't go fast if your CPU cooler can't expel the heat that the CPU generates. Sayang lang yung binayad mo para sa mahal na CPU kung hindi naman kaya ng CPU cooler mo. One brand that we really like for coolers is Deep Cool. Over the years, we found them to be excellent performers at excellent value for money. They're not as expensive as some of the premium brands, but the performance of their products is right up there with the premium brands. This year, their lineup has been dominated by the AK line of CPU air coolers. They've since expanded that to include the digital versions, and they've expanded their AIOs as well with the LS, LE, and LT series. We've covered them throughout the year. So this is a sort of year-end roundup. We took a bunch of their AK line and one of their newest AIOs and pitted them against each other just so you can see where, what kind of performance you can expect from each level of their product categories. So we have the AK400, which is a single tower, four pipe air cooler. AK500, still single tower with five heat pipes. And then their big brother, the AK620, two tower, six heat pipes. And the cherry on top is the LS720 SE, which is a 360mm rad AIO. Medyo imba siya to compare it against the AK400 and AK500, but it will be interesting to see it versus the AK620. Our smallest cooler gives us our worst performance, but it actually still is pretty decent, below 80 degrees. The AK400 hit a max temp of 78.1 degrees in Cinebench R23 and 74.1 degrees in R24. The AK500 came in noticeably cooler at 76.1 degrees in R23 and 71.8 in R24. What a difference the addition of just another heat pipe makes. The big boy AK620 of course is cooler than both its smaller siblings with scores of 73.1 and 69 degrees in R23 and R24. Honestly, I was expecting a larger separation difference between the temps of the AK620 and the AK400 we might see this if we were running a hotter CPU. Finally, as mentioned, we threw in a 360 RAD AIO since people always ask if they should go with air or water cooling. The LS720 SE was actually slightly hotter than the AK620 with a max temp hit of 71.4 in R24. It does take a little longer for AIOs to catch up with heat buildup. It's just the nature of the physics of water absorbing heat. In rough terms though, I'm not surprised that the AIO result is roughly at par with the AK620 and the AIO probably would have slightly better results if we averaged out the temperatures over numerous tests and also tested for the average temp instead of the max temperature reached. In our shop experience, deep cool coolers are always aces and always good value for money. We recommend them a lot, we sell a lot of them, particularly this AK line. And I can't recall any, at least from the AK line, coming back to us in need of an RMA. The AK line also has the AK digital line, which look really good. They basically have a readout on top of the cooler so that you can see basic information like what the temperature of the CPU is. They are both functionally and aesthetically pleasing. Your CPU works hard, give it some support. If you're in the market for a third-party CPU cooler, these deep cool coolers are an excellent option. Thanks for watching. Paminsan may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted, yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up to date yung inventory dun. Kung in stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.